Occupy Wall Street activists Amelia H.M. and Kathleen Russell have been on the road for over a month, documenting the struggles of activist movements across the country. This week, their radical resistance tour takes us to Chattanooga, Tennessee, where residents organizing to protect their homes are facing increasing police repression. Chattanooga's primarily African-American West Side neighborhood has been the target of a coordinated attack on low-income housing. In April, Mayor Ron Littlefield initiated plans to redevelop two of its last remaining public housing units. The plan was to be carried out by Purpose Built Communities, an Atlanta-based organization founded by Warren Buffett and Atlanta's biggest developer, Thomas Cousins. Uh, Roxanne had heard some things and she told us what they, their plans had been, that they had planned that they were going to tear down the housing and put in mixed income housing. What mixed income means, we don't know. That could be uh, upper middle class or rich people or not. We decided that we were going to say to the housing authority and to the city uh, that we wanted to keep our housing. And we went down to City Hall, spoke to the city fathers on what was happening to us out here. They claimed they didn't hear, they didn't know anything about Purpose Built. They didn't know that these people were coming down here, that they had been invited to come down and tear down public housing. We came back to our committee and we talked about what we thought that uh, we wanted the city and the housing authority to do. We got a petition. In a matter of, say, um, three weeks, we gathered up over 2,000 uh, signatures of people who said that they were for public housing, there were even people in the city who were saying that there is not enough housing even to rent, let alone to buy, but to rent, and that the rents were astronomically high, and uh, that we wanted some kind of uh, cap put on it, at least for them to say if they tore down the housing, that they replaced it. They have been trying to run the people out of the public housing by getting the police to harass the people who live there. Uh, at night, even though there isn't a curfew in the city, uh, adults are not allowed, not even, uh, to sit on their porch without the police walking up on your porch and asking you for identification. Our children are harassed. Uh, some are hauled off to jail. They put the handcuffs on them so tight, they almost break their arms, pick them up and slam them to the ground and then uh, throw them in jail, and then the mother has to go and pick them up. They call the ladies out of their names, disrespect them. To the kids, how can you respect a cop if he's going to call your mother uh, a, a name that, that I wouldn't say in the church right now? Then they use the N-word. Those kind of things should not happen. It's sad, but it happens almost every day. We have a community here. We know our neighbors, we know who they are, we look out for one another. Places you have neighborhood watch, where people watch out for themselves in the community. But we're having a neighborhood watch, what we call a cop watch. We're trying to arm the people with some kind of justice. So we're asking them now, when you see this happening, make a date and the time when you see something happening. The lawyer, who Joyce's lawyer said, it's important when you take the picture to write down the, the, date, the, the date the time that you took the picture. And the name of the officer. And the name of the officer or whatever. Badge number. Whatever the event. We have got to get our churches, our ministers together, our, uh, our, our uh, people who uh, have some knowledge of the system to work with us as well if the city is going to be this way. Uh, I hate to see it fall into tyranny, but that's what the tyranny is and to say that the police are the terrorists. It seems that way in our neighborhood. To donate to Chattanooga Organized for Action or find out more, visit chataction.org. And for more stories of Americans fighting back, visit the Radical Resistance Tour at radicalresistancetour.tumblr.com.